Facebook couldn't load chat. Reload this page to, to see your chat. Or if you're getting this message on Facebook Messenger and you can't you can't get in, you're trying to message your friends and family members, you've been getting this for a few hours or a few days, I'm here to help you fix the issue. Uh, first thing I want you to do is, uh, it could be on Facebook's end, but it's usually not. You might want to give them a little bit more time and see if it'll fix the issue. But if not, go ahead and get out of everything. So let's say you're on a smartphone. Go ahead and, and go out of Facebook. And then I would recommend you just restarting your, your smartphone, your Android phone or your iPhone, restarting it. See if you're able to get in. And if you're on your computer, go ahead and log out of the browser. Then you can open up the browser. Let's say you're on Chrome or Firefox or whatever. Or better yet, restart the computer altogether. Just restart it. And then come back in and see if that will fix the issue. You'll see that will fix a lot of the issues with this error. If that does not fix the error, what I want you to do, let's say you're on Chrome, for example. What I want you to do is just go on a different browser. So go on Firefox, or if you're on Safari, go on Firefox. You'll find that going on Firefox and logging in, that will fix 99% of the issues with this error. All right, if you don't want to do that, if you want to stay on Google Chrome, for example, or vice versa if you're on Firefox or another browser, what I want you to do is on the upper right of Chrome, go ahead and click these little three little dots up here, right up here. And now what I want you to do is go all the way down to delete browsing data. And then go over here, click delete browsing data. And then what I want you to do, you could try one of these at a time. So uh, cache, images and files, and cookies, those two, you can do that without deleting your browsing history. And then what I want you to do is uh, click del uh, delete data. Now, depending on how much you have on there, it could scroll literally for 30 minutes because you have so much stuff in there. That's okay. Give it time. And then if it keeps doing it after 30 minutes, go ahead and log everything back out and then log back in. Now, you will find that this will delete your browsing history, your passwords, and all that. So be prepared that that will happen. So make sure you have it all recorded or written, da written down. So, for example, in my case, um, they had to send a code to my phone. And I was able to log back in. Um, and then after you do that, make sure you log out of Chrome and then come back in. Because if you don't, after you delete the data, and if you stay on Chrome, you're going to have the same problem. Log out of Chrome or even restart your computer, for example, and then go back in it. And then you're going to find that most likely you're, you're, that'll fix the issue by clearing out the cache and clearing out the cookies. Um, if you want to go ahead and cl clear out the browsing history, that's not going to hurt. Um, and again, these are all the different browsers you might have. If that didn't work, try a different browser. Try Opera. Try try a different, a different browser. Uh, but you'll find that most likely that will fix the issue. Now, if you have the issue with Chrome or Firefox, it's it's basically all or Explorer. It's basically all the same. You just go into into settings and clear browsing history and then restart. Um, and this gives you a little bit more information if you're on the phone. It's pretty much the same concept. If you're on a if you're on an iPhone or an Android phone, just basically click this the three dots while you're on the internet browser and clear cache, log out and log back in. All right, let me know in the comment section which one of these methods worked, and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.